So I knew that when I get married to a pastor, we will serve God, we will be a blessing to people, we will mm. heal people, mm. we will counsel people. But little did I know that I was married by somebody who was not what I thought he is. Mm -hmm. Because number one, mm. he had an affair with the, 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 the late brother, the, the late elder brother. Okay. And that is where, that is one of the things he had in the future. Like, he did not tell me that he has been having an affair with this woman mm -hmm. and I can feature your story. Yes. When I saw him, I was like, I love you so much. Mm -hmm. I never knew you had that sweet. I never knew you had that romantic. Mm -hmm. I never knew you what, what. I never knew you had that. He was appreciated. And this person being appreciated, mm -hmm. Is my husband. Don't forget that. A man that sweared in the altar mm. that you will keep that covenant yeah. and you remain to be faithful to me. Mm. Mm. Paul, I can feel your pain. Tena kuna venyu me mention ukasema yeye ukimunyima kwa bedroom usipompea haki yake. Anapigia mamako, anamuambia ujampea. Alikuwa anampia mamangu, na ni vitu zilikuwa zindaeka. That is one of the things that zenye mi niliona tu nitoke kwa hiyo ndoa. Because nisikia ndoa yangu. Nilikuwa na feel kama lady. Nilikuwa na feel vibaya sana because mm. hakuna kitu baya kama uko mwanamuke ewe ni mtu wa madhabao mm. na mumetoana nguo. Like watu wakiwaona wanawaona huchi. Hata zile meetings za family tulikuwa tunaenda. Na ninajua vizuri mamangu na babangu anajua mm. nilinyima mamangu. Haki hata yeah. weo ungekaa hapo, shuali. Uwezeka. Iyo, iyo, iyo ni kama mekutua nguo kabisa. Hali nitoa kabisa, like hata tukikosanya kakituka dogo tu hivi. The, the, the thing that made me now to feel like um, um, I'm done mm. is when he told me mm. that he never loved me. What? Evo, Evo. One day he stood and he told me, I want to tell you the truth today. The truth from my heart, mm. I never loved you. Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I greet you according to a time wherever you are. I receive my greetings as usual. My name is Kajin Tatamungu, aka Luckman. First, I want to say thank you, and I will never get out of saying thank you. Thank you for your support, your like, your comment. Thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. I know and I believe that every video story I upload here, you watch and you learn from it. And today I'm sitting with my sister I'm back on a story of marriage. Vile ye mwenyali olewa kewa virgin na buwanake After your wedding, akaenda kalala na bibi ya brother ake Na hata wakazana ye Na vile vile alikuwa natandikuwa na buwanake Na imaji wa natandikuwa jioni Na sande ya nakaribisha buwanake ambani Pasta kwa madhabao Anaubiria watu na miujizi inatendeka Anaenda kuwapen up so many things Anaenda kuongea So I know after watching this story You are going to learn so many things And utabarikiwa So before I introduce, her, I, don't, I introduce her to you, I welcome you all. Welcome. This is KGM Totamungo TV. Karibuni sana. I introduce my guest to you. Karibuni. Sister. Yes. Mambo. Kwa. Uko mzima. Salama. Nidini unacheka zaza. I'm just happy. Oh, uko happy. Yeah. First, natakusema sande kwa kuja kwa show yangu. I don't take it for granted. Najua story yako inenda kusaidia watu wengi sana pale nje. Yeah. Na inenda kufungua watu macho pia. Na wengine inenda kuwa ponya. Sindiyo? Yeah. So, nataka tu chukwe ifurse ukeze kuja introduce kwa majina kwanza kabla tuendele. Yeah, to all viewers, my name is Winfred Wango. Mm -hmm. Winfred Wango is a gospel minister, mm -hmm. born again, mm -hmm. mother of two, mm -hmm. single, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I, I appreciate you for tuning in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I hope that God is going to, to minister to you, even through my story. Mm. Because we are not here to expose anybody. Yes. I'm here to tell my story because... God allowed it to come to me so mm -hmm. that I may use it to heal someone yes. and help them that may decide to come to the marriage mm -hmm. even before kuchunguza mtu. Mm -hmm. So sitaki mtu apitie kile nilipitia. Okay. I just want people to be safe. And also your story will yeah. share willingly. Yeah. 
Hakuna I'm, mtu ameko force. Hakuna mtu ameni force. Yes. I'm here to tell my story yes. because I know itasaidia mtu. Okay. Yes. Now, uh, wewe ni msanii yeah. unaimba nyimbo za injili. Yeah. Uh, ningependa tu utuguzie tu ka wimbo tu kadogo mm -hmm. ka 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 chorus tu then tu, tuendelee kutoka hapo. At least watu waelewe huyu msanii ni mtu aina gani anaimba nyimbo type gani. Yeah, ninaimba gospel songs mm -hmm. and uh, my worshiper. Mm -hmm. Yes. Na kuna wimbo nimeimba Yesu nipande Yesu nipande Yesu nipande kwa madhabahu yako Yesu nipande Yesu nipande Yesu nipande kwa madhabahu yako I'm with Fred Wango YouTube Yaani unaanza tu kuimba na na na, na saa hizo unazama ndani ya Holy Spirit Eh hey, mimi Mungu amenita kwa hiyo line uh -huh. Yeah Uh, now, waje tu tu tuanze hivi. Mm -hmm. Umezaliwa wapi? Umelelewa wapi? Tuambie at least background yako kidogo, tutuzame mm -hmm. kwa story. Ya yeah, mi ama kamba girl. Eh. Amboni ni kitui. Eh. Eh, kule kuna tokanga wife materials. Eh. Only that niliangukia mitego mbaya. Kitu hizi ni kwa wachawi. Hapana, kuna wachawi lakini kuna wife <laughs> materials eh. na kuna eh wachawi wako. Na yuko nasikianga ndio imeshika hivi. Wachawi wako mitishamba siko hmm. lakini Yesu alitu, alitu, alitunyanyua kutoka kule. Okay. Akatusaidia. Okay. So nimezaliwa kwa jamii ya, ya dugu hmm. watano. Okay. Mm, servants of God hmm. tuko wasichana watano na tuko hmm. brothers watano. Okay. So we are ten. Mama yetu alizaa ni kama alikuwa ameitishwa order. Hiyo hmm. ni order. Yes. Ni Mungu alikuwa amemwambia ni pia watu watumishi. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Nilianza kuimba wimbo wangu wa kwanza nililisi nikiwa nililisi wimbo wa kwanza 2010. Baba pigana nao wanaopigana na mi. Hiyo ndio songu yangu ya kwanza 2010. Baba pigana nao wanaopigana na mi. Baba pigana nao wanaopigana na mi. Wow wow very powerful eh 2010. 2010. So, mm. uh, nikakuja nikaendelea e, shule nilikuwa naimba, nimesoma nime mpaka form 4 sikusoma sana. Yes. Na nikakuja nikamaliza shule from there. Yes. Ndio nilianza kuelewa ni kama niko na kipao ya uimbaji, mm. nikaenda nika sasa nikaingia kwa hiyo laini ya ya huduma ya uimbaji. Yeah. And this far mm -hmm. I'm still singing. Uko na songs ngapi YouTube? Niko na songs around eh, 10 kitu omo zina like um, around 13 14 somewhere okay. there okay. yeah just go easy nina nina list kamoja kamoja youtube name uh, youtube name ni winfred wango okay yeah. pia link ndio nimeweka hapo chini mm -hmm. sasa wacha za tuzame kwa story yako yeah. nilikuwa nataka at least watu wajue unatoka wapi ni mm -hmm. nini background yako kidogo mm -hmm. tupe story yako from mwanzo hadi mwisho this is your time Ah uh, mimi nilikalia usichana wangu vizuri mm -hmm. na mimi nililelewa vizuri yes. na misingi nzuri mm -hmm. and uh, when i reached the end of getting married yes. i met this man mm -hmm. and this man told me that he's a pastor okay. and in my call of singing i i felt like it is good that i i will uh, serve mm -hmm. God together well well yeah. while i have that uh, singing thing mm -hmm that worship thing mm -hmm. so i knew that when i get married to a pastor we will serve god we mm -hmm. will be a blessing to people we will mm -hmm. heal people mm -hmm. we will counsel people but little did i know that i was married by somebody who was not what i thought he is mm -hmm. because number one, mm -hmm. he ended an affair with the the, the 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 late brother the the late elder brother okay. and that is where that is one of the things he nyali ni feature Like he did not tell me that he has been having an affair with this woman mm -hmm. and akaficha hiyo story and that's why even people that are watching me they should be that that person mwenye hata mm -hmm. kama umekutana na mtu ambaye unataka kumuoa ama unataka kuolewa it is good that you open up yeah. kama kama uli uli, uli kuanga umefa, umezaa nje kama uko na watoto watatu nje tell this lady that yeah, yeah. kuna mali niteleza but mm -hmm. i know i i need you now yeah unamweleza hiyo story asikuje kuelewa baadaye because hiyo kitu italeta another bitterness yenye mm. itawafanya mkae pamoja mlifanya courtship ya muda gani ndio mkae tulifanya courtship ya one year 
Wani yu huku wanajua, hako na bibi ya brother hake. Isa, alikuanga kama pretender. Kushe yonda watu mtu wana feature mm. white. Yeah. Paka you cannot tell. Mm. But mimi, mimi ni mtu wa maombi. Okay. So many other times nilikuwa naomba. Then I was asking, when I ask this person, mm. there's something that I, I hear inside me like mm. blood covenant. Mm. Najua walikuwa wa meza. Okay. So, haka ni feature. Like, mimi nikiombea mambo ya marriage, mm. Nilikuwa nasikia sauti. Sauti zingine za mungu ananiongelesha, ananipatia mm. eh, some, some dangers. Mm -hmm. Like, ni kama kuna kitu ilifanywa, mm. and this person unafawa mkoroge, ndiwa kuambi ukweli. So this person ni wana watu, mm. anakanga amefungia moyo, hata kuambia, hata hiyo miaka nane tumekaa na ye kwa ndoa, mm. akuwa ana, anafunguka. Mutu secretive sana. I could not even know, mm. even when ni memkosea, mm -hmm. wakati sija mkosea, mm. and now he couldn't file, Kesi zizangu tano, mm -hmm. you will never tell me kama nimekosea as a wife, mm -hmm. but sase nya amenikosea, mm -hmm. ni muambie my dear umenikosea. Atalipua hizi zake tano. So hiyo marriage could not work. Kwenye courtship inakuanga ni, kana huyu mtu msomane, ujua baya wake, uzuru wake, ndi at least ukienda kwa marriage, usha ajua yeye venyua uwa na kasirika, ama uwa unafanya mambo. Wewe kutaka kujuizo vitu kwanza kabudu ingie kwa marriage. Mimi nilikuanga muopen. Like even now that I'm very open. Mm. But unajua, yeah. uwezi soma mtu mwenye anakani kama mm. kuna vitu alifanyanga na huko nyuma yeah. and he doesn't tell the, the right person the mm. things. Mm. So, makosa inye ilingia ni kwamba, akutaka kuniambia ukweli. And that's why I went so much pain. Like I went pain. I did wedding when I, I nilikuwa nimejieka vizuri. Mm. Because I remember wakati tulienda honeymoon. Mm. Nilipigia wanyo walikuwa wametusimamia wedding. Nikimuambia periods zimekuja. Siku watanjua ni kunipasua, amenipasua. Sasa ndamu, njoyo, inamuangika. Sasa nilikuwa nafikiria ni, ni periods zimekuja. Kumbe Ukiwana ujama... na yu likuwa vaja. Eh! Hey! Sasa ndamu ya yezi toka mali ya kuna nini. Mm -hmm. Na chata ya anaeza kuwa na watch. Anajua what I'm saying is true. I don't lie. Now. Nilikuwa nimejieka vizuri sana. Ulika virgin. Uh, Kikuwa ulikuwa miaka ngapi? Nilikuwa 28. 20, 28 ulikuwa virgin? Yes. Ye mwenye ulikuwa miaka ngapi? Haa. Uyo alikuwa mechelewa sana. Laki mini limkutakiwa 44. 44? Yeah. 28, 44? Yes. Nini le kufanyi uolewa na ye? Na hata after kujua ni mtu msikreti. Kitu ya kwanza, mm. kuna makosa mamangu alinikosea. Because kuna pressure mamangu alikuwa na niweka. Mm -hmm. Alikuwa na niambia I should get married. Mm -hmm. Na nisiwe yolewa vibaya. Because walijua, nilianza kuimba nikiwa mtoto mdogo. Yeah. Na nikakuja, nika, nilikutana na ya, ok, aliniona kwa maali nilikuwa nimealikuwa, mm. niki minister. Yeah. So that time tulikuwa tunauza CD, si kama now. Yes. Akanunua CD. Mm -hmm. So from CD, yes. walijukua jina yangu hapo. Mm. And from CD, mm -hmm. akanza kuniambia, I, and I feel like ni mimi. Mm -hmm. So unajua na mimi, kuna zile pressure za wazazi, wenye wazazi, wenye wazazi, hata wanani tanzama, mm -hmm. awafai kueka watoto pressure. Yeah. Because unaweza jikuta, unaingia kwa shimo, mm -hmm. ya nyasi wewe umenjingiza ni muzazi, mm -hmm. alikupatia hile pressure ya, hey, kwani utaolewa siku gani, yes. kwani nini, nini, unangojea nini. Mm -hmm. Sasa umekuja ana na mtu hapa, leni una, hani ni kama nilyact like I was desperate, something. Mm -hmm. Lakini nilingia kwa hiyo marriage dike. Okay, nilipenda hiyo jamaa. So wewe uliolewa si tukupenda kwako kwa sababu ya parents. Ya, yeah, kuna venye mamangu, especially mamangu, alikuwa nataka sana kuniona nikiwa kwa gown. Hata yenye umevaa ni gown, ama ni gani? Eh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> ama kwa zinaona imejaja. Eh, uh, nilikuwa ni nilikuwa na, na event. Okay. Yeah, ya ku launch uh, my music. Okay. Yeah. Now, after sasa ume umekuwa kwa courtship, umejoana na mtu for one year, right? Mm -hmm. Ukaoana na yeye. Wakati uliingia kwa nyumba kabla uzae, ulikuwa umemjua ni mtu type gani? Mimi nilichapwa kofi ya kwanza. Nikiwa sijabomboa nywele ya wedding. Nikimuliza story tu za huyo mwanamke. Hiyo kofi ya kwanza ulichapwa after how long? Tumetoka on honeymoon. Wakati tulitoka honeymoon, mm. simu ilikuwa kwa meza. Yes. Na huyo mama mm. alikuwa anashindia kumuitisha pesa. Alikuwa na shindia kumuambia wajakula. Uyo mwenye sasa walizana ya, alikuwa na kani kama. Mm. Na kuna mali kulifika, kani tusi. Na kani ambia, this is my, my man. Mm. Na uki, u, ulinikuta hapa, mm -hmm. na utaniacha hapa. Iyo statement, mm. I told my ex. Aenda ya muulize kwa nini ananiongereshanka na kimadharao madharao. Hada mani kwa sababu, mm. anajua did my husband yako. Yeah. So, akakua na ya mwenye alikuwa meniowa, haku ananitetea. That is another pain. Mm -hmm. That money did not give me cover. 
like protection yenye utaki mke wako akinguzwa aku nipatie hiyo protection that, that is one of the pains that yenye nitoka hapo nazo mm-hmm. like hata kuna i remember kuna time alini slap mm-hmm. mbele ya mamake na kuna siku nyingine alini slap mbele ya maid hebu nikuulize swali wewe umetoka honeymoon umechapwa kofi huko fikiria tena kama nimechapwa kofi na nimetoka honeymoon this man sasa kwa ananitandika kaa punda kwa nyumba mbona uko take a step unaona hizi marriage za ni za church hizi marriage za church and we are not discouraging people wa olewa na ngiza kwa sababu mtu anatuocha kwa lake kama ulichapwa kofi umetoka honeymoon ulikuwa na ngoja nini mimi singetoka kwa sababu sasa tumetoka wedding yes like nilisikutaka ku disappoint wazazi mhm haya sikutaka watu wenye wamesimama na mimi wa feel like Wini Uli sasa mbona ametu ametuangusha. Mbona mm-hmm. wini tu tulikuwa tunamwamini ametuweka hii aibu yote. Yes. Sasa unaona? Mm-hmm. So mimi nilikaa, alafu nilikuwa na, zile maandivice zenye nilikuwa napewa nikiingia kwa ndoa juu kuliko ile section ya kupewa maandivice. Yes. I was told mm-hmm. that when you are in the marriage mm-hmm. you should it is for better for us. Mm-hmm. Na wakaniambia unafaa kuhumilia kila kitu. Na usitoe jamii nje. Mimi nilianza kutoa wakati yeye alianza kutoa. Because everything that happened in the bedroom that man was even telling my parents. He was like Mumeoana. Nataka mm-hmm. tusikie everything sasa hiyo ya ndoa. Mm-hmm. Sitaki urukuri uruka uru, 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 mm-hmm. every detail eh? mm-hmm. ya hiyo ndoa. Mumeoana after mislapiwa venye kulienda mpaka mkaachana. The problem yenye ilikuwa mm-hmm. the ground and the thing that made that hiyo marriage is simame yes. number one, mm. wakati tuli, tulitoka honeymoon yes. mimi nilichapwa kofi ya kwanza mm-hmm. kwa sababu hizo messages za za huyo mke wa brother yake mm. and now leave alone you mm. the man is alikuanga very violent mm-hmm. like when you want something that you need an explanation and you should ex- explain to me mm. as, a, as, a, as my husband mm. He was he was rude like he, he always saw anything to do with me bad like mm. I should not ask about him anything mm. I should nikimuliza nikiona message kwa simu za love mm. za huyo mama za nini nisimulize yes. because alikuwa ananiambia nataka kukuonyesha zile vitu zilikunja zikitoa ile upendo yenye mm. niliingia kwa ndoa nayo okay. sasa anakuuliza unatafuta nini kwa simu yangu Like what do you want in my phone? You have your own. Mm. Nikamwambia we stood in the altar and you became one. One. Not two. So, my phone and no password. But yake ilikuwa anga na password. Sasa after that scenario ya mke wa brother yake. Mm. Alifuatanisha kunionyesha drama za other ladies. Mm. Like yeye ni accountant apart from being a pastor. Mm. Kuna ile ofisi alikuwa anafanya kazi nayo, mm-hmm. alikuwa ameanjiri wasichana. Mm-hmm. And apart from those wasichanas, mm-hmm. I could find so many messages mm-hmm. in the phone, love messages mm-hmm. na usimulize. The moment umemuliza, mm-hmm. utakula slap. Mm-hmm. So, nilikaa kwa ndoa yenye mm-hmm. kitu ya kwanza hakukuwa na heshima. There was no respect mm-hmm. in that marriage. Yes. Because this man did not give me respect to tell me the truth. Mm-hmm. And this marriage was grounded mm-hmm. in the foundation of lies. Mm-hmm. And then this man did not give me respect to tell me things that I need to know. Mm-hmm. He was responding with beating me. Mm-hmm. I lost my first prank Nancy. Okay. Kwa sababu ya kuchapwa. Mm-hmm. This man was very 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 violent. Mm-hmm. Kila wakati kunichapa ananichapa ananichapa. Mm. Alinichapa nikafikisha six. Nilikuwa na count. Mm. Kuchapo ya kwanza, ya pili, ya tatu. Mm. Wakati nilifikisha six, mm. nikasema saba itafika. Mm. That is when I I I opened my heart to my parents and I told them this is what I've been going through. Mm. Why? Because of this one. Mm. So I I started exposing him and it was not my 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 wish to expose my husband. Mm. But The way he was handling me as a woman mm. I think he, he, he has never seen a wife in me mm. but I, I tried mm-hmm. tulinjenga pamoja mm-hmm. nyumba ya rumu sita mm-hmm. ukienda kwake saa hii mm-hmm. utakuta kuna kaa kama kulikuwa Paradise. kulikuwa mwanamke mm-hmm. nilisimama na yeye vile unaweza simama na, na mume wako yeah. 
but this man uh, kitu kingine alikuwa anafanya mm. he could not even keep secrets mm -hmm. the angles knew everything even when i i i feel like tumekashirikiana mm. bedroom mm -hmm. we have not done what we are supposed to do in bedroom mm. he will share with the gangos he will tell even my my my, my parents mm. those things that you, you are not supposed to say mm. he used to say so those things started uh, reducing the love mm. between me and him mm. and now uh the, the 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 thing that made me now to feel like um um i'm done mm. is when he told me mm. that he never loved me. What? Ivo, Ivo told One day he stood and he told me, I want to tell you the truth today, mm -hmm. the truth from my heart. Mm -hmm. I never loved you. Mm -hmm. I was told by another pastor to marry you. That another pastor told pastor. me, mm -hmm. that pastor is a friend of mine and he told me how Mumelelewa vizuri, nini watu mnajua kulima, you 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 are very active lady so I was revered to you by another friend. So that 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 if there is something that I remember broke me from inside. Hizi vitu zingine I I could I could work on them. Zikuwe sawa. But the moment that man told me that he never loved me. After having invested in him. Tu pesa kidogo hata kama umepata nini unasimama na yeye. Munanunua simiti. Munanjeka nilimkuta kwa kanyumba ya, ya bedroom ya, 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 ya kuna bedroom mm. na kuna sitting mm. na kuna kuna bathroom. One bedroom. Yeah. So tulibomoa tukajenga. Mm. Nyumba ya rumu sita sio nyumba dogo. Yeah, sio ndogo. Yeah, sio ndogo. So when this man told me that he never loved me. Yes. That time nilikuwa nimetoka. Nilikuwa ninatoka nikirudi mm. like kutoka ni narudi na toka narudi mm. sasa hii kutoka yenye nimetoka saa hii mm. ni ya 4 oh ni ya 4 si like, tuli kasirika no kutoka no si kutoka at once <laughs> and the first day yenye nilitoka i remember the first day yenye nilitoka mm. nilienda kwetu nini ilikufanya ukatoka first day alinichapa kwa sababu tu yani ile kitu tu ilikuwa inakula hiyo jamii mm. ni unfaithfulness mm. na utaki nikuulize hivyo tu akakuchapa ya kwanza ukaenda so ile kitu liliweka uchungu ndani yangu mpaka mm. this man felt like it is like i don't respect him mm. is because alikuwa ananianya sana mm. like anaweza chukua tu hata anaweza chukua tu mtu mm. apeleke tu guest house like kuna time nilimpata akiwa amepeleka mwanamke guest house mm. ya uko kwa tu tuke tu akampeleka mm. so because Mungu huwa ananiongelesha mm. sana mm. i felt like we need this time round don't ask this person mm. And that day I remember he lied to me mm. that he's going to the office mm. and then he came to the house very very late. Mm. I remember that day I was breastfeeding this this small girl. Mm. Saia so kofai ako for yeah five yeah. and I turn five. Mm. Nilikuwa na breastfeed. Mm. Now alikuja kwa nyumba yeah. midnight and he lied to me. Mm. And God has given me that sensitivity that when you are lying to me I will sense you that you are lying mm -hmm. and I won't argue with you I will just look at you yes. and I will tell God mm -hmm. now that you have convinced to me that this person is lying yes. now Holy Spirit of God expose this man for me yeah. that is what God was doing in fact that man hakuna kitu yake sasa jificha kwangu iwe ni message alikuwa tu Mungu ana ana make sure amesahau ku delete ndio nione that night mm -hmm alienda kwa huyo mwanamke yeah. alikuja mm. that night mm. sikumuuliza mm. but nikasikia sauti naniambia whatever you want to know mm. you will know it by tomorrow and that morning day mm. tulikuwa tunaenda kwa matanga ya nguo yake yeah. tukiwa kwa matanga mm. ile sauti mm. ikaniambia the moment mm. to know that thing mm. yenye ulitaka kujua jana kwenye alikuwa has come mm -hmm. kumbe ana chat na yule mwanamke kumbe mwanamke anamu appreciate mm. How she felt so nice with him on bed. Wakati nilikuwa simu message za huyo za huyo hiyo jinapasa usiache nyuma. Yes. Lazima tuweke hapa. Eh kumbuka kuweka hiyo pasta. I never knew you had that. Pasta ameacha mke wa I never knew you had that. Nilipata watoto na CS. I never knew you what what. I never knew. CS. 
mpaka ni nilikuwa za zingine na nilisukumia nitakuta mfanye kazi at least anishikilie juu wezi nua mitungi there are some things you cannot do because watoto ni among that swear person is a hold to you that you keep that kwa kwa hiyo matanga and you remain to be faithful to me nilienda nikamwomba simu i told him nisaidia na simu tunaongelea slap ya kwanza i can feel your pain mara ya kwanza ni ukienda ndio tunaongelea yeah sasa hiyo ndio inabebana na hii kitu yote. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Nikaenda nikachukua simu. Yes. I I I because ni mimi nilikuwa na simu. Mm-hmm. Niliendelea kuchat na huyo mwanamke. Yes. Nikamwambia hata wewe nilisikia ukiwa mtamu sana. Unajua mwanamke sasa unaanza ku revive. Sasa mwanamke ajui simu iko na my husband ama ni mimi niko nayo. Unajua yes. sasa iko kwa mikono yangu. Yeah, na iko kwa nyumba sasa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So sasa mimi nikaanza kujibu. Mm-hmm. Nilijibu akalijibu mm-hmm. nikamuuliza mm-hmm. unajua sasa mimi mm-hmm. mwa, si mimi ni sasa siko najua kwa a, alikuwa wapi yeah. so nilikuwa nataka kutafuta a technical question nimuulize njoo nijue jana alikuwa wapi yeah. na walifanya nini yeah. i wanted to be sure mm-hmm. hata kama nimeona messages za ku appreciate mm-hmm. nikamuuliza umeniwekea nini mm-hmm. nataka kukuja tena mm-hmm. kama ile ulikula jana usiku si kama ile ulikula jana usiku si si niyo tu mm-hmm. now and apart from that mm-hmm. kuna lot of messages zenye nilikuwa naona yeah. and now ili hapo ni kwamba mm-hmm. nikapeleka hizi message mm-hmm. kwa pastor mwenye saa hii wamebaki na yeye mm-hmm. na mwenye alimsaidia mpaka akaoa mm-hmm. no, no, kazi ya mapasta mm-hmm. Somebody is in pain mm. umepoteza ndoa kuna mm. vitu zinaenda vibaya mm. na zimefanywa na pasta another pasta mwenye ako juu ya huyo yeah. anjaitengeneza amemsaidia aoe akijua vizuri sheria za biblia mm. tuachane na hiyo maana iliniumiza mpaka nikalia machozi kaisha tueleze tueleze tukapo kwa kusikia story yako just our viewers wana, wanataka kusikia unajua sasa sio mimi unaambia ni viewers now mm. wakati hiyo story ilikuja ku hii ya mwanamke mm. unajua sasa ilibidi niende kwa huyo sini ya pasta yeah. so that i may tell him together with the wife mm. what i have found yeah. in the phone of my husband mm. who is their assistant pastor mm. Eh, wakati tuliketi mm. sini ya pasta alimwambia alikosa mm. and in fact he was forcing him to apologize to me and then i, I told the senior pastor yes. if he cannot apologize mm. not unless you tell him to apologize that is not an apology yeah. that's not an apology true, true. if he, he has not felt that pain mm. of kuniumiza hivyo yeah. mwanaume nimem rescue with 44 years alikuwa amechanganywa akili na huyo mke wa brother yake akawa ni kama hata alisahau kuoa apate ndoa yake so now we ni umeletwa kwa mwanaume umemzalia watoto umemfunza kuvaa unamnulianga nguo of which mimi yako ananiulia nguo kama kunayo maybe ni moja ama mbili lakini mimi masuti zenye niliacha na huyo mwanaume. Yeah. Although nilisikia alichoma. Mm. Sio ni kuchoma ama alipeana. Kuna mm. kitu ilinifikia ikikaa hivyo. Huyo mm. mwanamke mwenye alikuwa amelala na yeye. Mm. Nilimlazimisha. Yeah. Na nikaambia my ex ampigie simu niongee na yeye. In the presence of the senior pastor and the wife. That is what we did. Mm. Atukaeka loud speaker. Mm. Do you know this lady told me mm. because nilimuliza mm. did my ex husband tell you that he has a family a very beautiful family mm. did he tell you that mm. did you tell you that he has a lady that has has to wake up every two in the night 2 pm mm. 2 am mm. to pray for him because he is my pastor and he is my husband and i know he end ministry so azima ni muombe akisimama kwa madhabahu akue sawa do you know what this lady told me 
Aliniambia kwa na wife but yasiki yake akimpenda na anjui ni kwa nini nikajua oh ile story nimekuwa nikishindia kuambiwa i never loved you ndio hii sasa so do you know me with the combination of that those other things and those other things me i don't see the reason to why i should stay there with that that, that man ukaenda like you cannot tell a, a lady like me yes that you I never loved me na nikae hapo by the way. Na na njua sijaumbwa vibaya. Kama nimeumbwa vibaya. This guy told me that he never loved me. Mm. Like seriously. Yeah. Hata wewe ingia kwa viatu zangu. Mm. Today is only that I don't want to cry. In fact I feel like majozi inakuja but I don't want to cry because I've cried. Mm. Like God is healing me. Na ukiona nakuja hapa, nakuja hapa ndio niambie wala watu ambao wananitansama. Like those servants of God that cannot respect their wives. Mm. Those servants of God that keep a life of lies. Like unakaa maisha ya lying, lying, lying. Mm. Na hakuna kitu mbaya kama kufanya mwanamke aliye. Yeah. Hata kama ni yule bibi yako. Hiyo yeah. machozi mm. inananga kwa Mungu direct. Now, nini ilifanya uende urudi tena na uende tena mara ya pili? Love. I love. I love to that guy. Ikakufanya urudi. Nilikuwa narudi tu. Sasa nini nikufanya uende mara ya pili? Mara pili nilienda kwa sababu mm. sasa nikirudi mm. na unaona sasa hii kuenda. Yeah. He is not the one who was looking for me. In fact he was <laughs> when I go mm. he was so reluctant. And ah, then okay. I couldn't get the, the, the calls the phone calls mm. from the, the, the senior wife mm. wives as the, the senior pastor mm. the wife the, the friends like we need you have great ministry mm. and this is a pastor that hata kama umeona ako na ujinga ujinga mm. you have to kumusamea kumusamea sasa ile roho ya kusamea unarudi mm. tena ukirudi unarudia slap unarudia kukumbushwa mm. i never loved you if it was you if you if you ingekuwa wewe mm. ingekuwa kwa viatu zangu mwanamume mzima mzima mm. akaya akishindia kukwambia mm. anjawai kukupenda ni nini nyingine itakusustain? What else can you su- sustain you in that marriage? It is only love. Yes. That I'm there. Remember I left my my, my parents. Yes. I came there because I wanted you. Na unipatia haki kama mwanamke. When you are telling me that you never loved me, what are you telling me? Go. You are telling me to go. Yeah, yeah. So I will go. Mm. And I'm that lady. Mm. In fact kama kuna kitu alikuwa ananipendea moja. Mm. Mimi najua kujirudisha. O, kuenda na urudi. Na, najua kuenda chini. Like na, najua ku Ani asira. Najua ya. kusamea haraka. Na kutoa asira haraka. Na kutoa asira haraka. Mm-hmm. Naweza kasirika haraka? Yes. Na natoa na haraka. Okay. Alafu kama ningekuwa na mwanaume ambaye mm-hmm. ange, angejua kuni handle. Mm-hmm ange ninge ninge yani singeenda mm. kwa kama huyo mwanaume ange, angejua ile peni ya nyama niweka na apologize na anyenyeke mm. paka leo ningekuwa kwake because i gave him a very handsome son mm. and a very beautiful girl mm. nali wakata yeye aliwakata mara ya pili sasa kama umeenda ama umerudi Unaona sasa tukiwa tuki, nikiwa ni hiyo kuenda nikirudi. Hii kuenda hapo mm. ananifuata kitu ya kwanza. Nilikuwa napigiwa simu na watu. Wewe ni parents walikuwa nachukua hatua gani? Babangu hajaimpenda. Okay. Kuna kitu babangu alikuja ku converse wakati alijua sasa nimetoka. Yeah. He told me that hajaipenda huyo mwanaume. Wakati nilimuuliza the reason, mm. aniambia aliona hiyo marriage hakuna mahali inaenda. Mm-hmm. Because this guy has a covenant of mtu wako kwa kaburi. That is a curse according to Kambani is mm. eh, mm. it is a curse by itself is a is your elder brother mm. na kwa kwa kaburi we are not in the western eh hizo vitu tunazionanga western yeah hizo vitu ziko western bibi, bibi akinini we are in Kambani your elder brother ako kwa kaburi yeah. na umechukua mke wake mm. that's a, that's a curse in fact ni curse yenye huyo mwanaume akikosa kutubu kwa Mungu mm itamkula mpaka for the generation. Si kitu ndogo. Oh sio mila huko. Ni kitu mbaya za according to kwetu ni kas. Ni kas. Lakini kule wese anaonanga ni, ni mila. Western eh, ni mila. Yeah, mila Kwa ni mila. 
Na hakuna maandiko ina support hiyo kitu. Nilifanya research kwa Bible. Hakuna mm. kit, hakuna maandiko mm. ina support what my husband did to me. Now, wewe ume umeambia senior pastor chenye your husband ambaye ni pastor ambaye ni mdogo wake amefanya au ku take any action. He tried. He tried. The senior pastor tried. What about your brothers, your, your mom, you know? Brothers walikuwa wapi at least wakuja muongeleshe. Kuna brother wangu wawili mm. ni watumishi wa Mungu. Yes. They did not come even to my wedding. Because mm. awakupenda huyo mtu. And they felt like nimewa disrespect of which I did not respect them, yes. disrespect them. Yes. Yeah. But kuna venye mm. walikuwa wana feel like kwanza kuna mmoja nakumbuka aliambia mamangu. Mm. Kama wini ile siku mtaona wini anapitia mauchungu mjue mimi mm. nishaongea hii ndoa hakuna mahali inaweza enda na unajua those are servants of god so your dad and your two brothers walikataa hiyo ndoa yako they were not Kwevo for it waliona. na babangu tu alikuwa kwa wedding yeye alinipeana but mm. alinipeana shingo pande according to what he conversed later yeah. my father did not he did not give blessings to that marriage so, because mm. the guy was he, the guy mm. ni wale watu ambao unanjitanisha na Mungu mm. but at the same time you don't understand who you are like sai mm. i respect myself even when i'm single in nairobi mm. with my two kids i respect siwezi kujatilia kwa kila mwanaume mwenye ananiambia you are beautiful yeah, i know yeah. i'm beautiful yeah, yeah. i know who i am mm. and i know the, the the ministry that god has impacted in me mm. and i know that even this thing that i'm saying in in this camera yeah. i'm not saying it to expose anybody but i'm saying it so that it may help someone mm. mwenye anaweza kuwa anataka kuingia kwa ndoa mm. na maybe unjafanya uchunguzi yeah. i want to address those people mm. chunguza mtu unjue anaweza kuwa hata alilala na mama yake things are happening today we utajuaje kama nakwambia ukweli pia we have to pray only prayer na mwenye aombangi sasa wanafaa waanze because kama unataka uae aanze because prayer is the only thing that will will allow the holy spirit to be in you akusaidie kuelewa zile vitu ambazo zimejificha la sasa after sasa umeenda kurudi nini nilikufanya sasa uamue enough is enough mara ya mwisho ya nne kitu ya kwanza nilikuwa nimegojeka fidola za tumbo okay in fact zimekaza na li, nilianza kukula sukuma last week okay. na niliombewa na my bishop mm-hmm. wa huko Nairobi ndio kaanza kula sukuma nikaanza kukula hizo vitu zenye sasa ndaktari alisema nisikule yeah. na zikula saa hii okay. na tumbo mm-hmm. imenyamaza ayumi okay. so nil, nilisikia ni kama nimepona because ndiamini Mungu nitapona yeah. number two, nilitoka kwake nikiwa na depression mm-hmm. like nilikuwa na depression yenye ukini crash like yani ushaiona ile depression yenye uta utakasirika mpaka anakufanyia vitu mpaka unavunja thermos yani mm-hmm. yani uko na unasikia kupiga nduru mm-hmm. i end that kind of the thing mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. nilitoka kwake nikiwa hata yeye mwenyewe angekuwa pasta wa kweli mm-hmm. angesimama na mimi aniombe yeah. angesimama na mimi aniponye huyo mwanaume angesimama na mimi mm-hmm. anjue kwamba nimeleta heshima kwake akiwa very aged because hai atasijui kama saa hii ameoa kazi ana kadogo amekaacha sijui ya miaka 20 something mm. amekaweka kwa ile nyumba yangu that can never be a blessing especially now that huyo mwanaume hakuna mahali ashai niomba msamaa mm. na akaniachilia kwa baraka mm. machozi yangu pia na ile kitu alinifanyia ikanifanya nisikie uchungu zaidi mm. ni ya ku, ku, ku neglect watoto hiyo ndio kwanza hiyo ilini ilinibeba na machozi for some time hii last time ukitoka kwake Uh, ulitoka tu ama mlitoka kwanza mka agreement inaenda utakuwa unasaidia watoto uliinvolve parents nani alienda ma, mahali alikuwa ametoa si ndio ulienda ukaambiwa wazazi mufanye 1 2 3 ndio uende kabisa ama kulienda aje Uli, ulienda kwa divorce nini ama nini ile happen to eleza kitu ya kwanza nilikuwa na meeting because unajua mimi nilikuwa mke wa pasta yeah. and i end to do things on in an official way yeah. i remember that there is a meeting nilikuwa ilikuwa kanisani niliambia pasta i want to, 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 to talk some things out yeah. and then nikaambia senior pasta na hiyo meeting na na, 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 na wale wengine wenye myodas wa church yeah. mimi niliwaambia taki kutoka kwa hii ndoa na ujinga. Yeah. I just want to tell you that huyu mwanaume mwenye anachindanga kwa hii dhabao. Mm. Mimi amekuwa akinichapa Saturday. Na zingine mnaniona hapa nalia. Siliangi kwa sababu kuna roho Mungu ameshuka hapa. 
Mm-hmm. Sasa zingine na lianga kwa nikichanganya uchungu. Ukiwa pale unaimba sasa. Unaimba? Mimi ni worshipper. Yeah. Obviously I will, I will, I will, I will break before God and I will find myself mm-hmm. crying mm-hmm. because God amenitia hiyo ya ku worship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the same time mm-hmm. mimi sasa niliona ni exposed tu. Nini mu expose kwa kwa pasa nikamwambia mm, mimi yeah. wacha huyu mwanaume ni mwatilie tu yeah. aoe yule mtu ambaye mm. atamuingia yeah. because takaa na yeye tunafanya huduma na Mungu akituangalia anaona mm. we are not doing what we were called to do mm. we are doing things thenye hata Mungu kumwenyewe anaona zinamkasidisha so ukiwa pale kanisani wewe ukiworship pale kwa worship team wewe ukilia ulikuwa nalia chenye umefanywa yesterday Nini, ana, alikuwa ananichapa anaweza nichapa like anichape sana mm. nazie tena nichapa kama kuna kitu nime Bitu nyingi zenye alikuwa zinainua uchungu kwake. Mm-hmm. Ni like naweza muuliza hii message inakwambia love you. Si uniambie tuko wangapi? Yes. Na unajua sasa mwanamke lazima wakikosa kujibiwa atachemuka tu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sasa ile kuchemuka unakuta anakuchapa. Mm-hmm. Sasa zingine anafunga mlango, anakutandika ile ya serious. Mm-hmm. Mimi ni mtu wa CS. Mm-hmm. Tena ananirudisha hosi. Nikaangaliwe na daktari. Mm-hmm. Like I went that pain, that pain like I remember there was a day aliniweka chini ya carpet. Aliniaka chini ya carpet. I remember that chita isa huyo siku. Mm-hmm. Na aka, aka ni, yani akanisimamia hivi like ame amepanua miguu sasa ana anani anakupiga mangumi. Anani na unajua sasa you are a lady there is no way you can support yourself. Yeah, yeah. You are there. Mm-hmm. So I remember sasa tulienda kwa 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 kwa, 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 kwa nini kwa kwa, kwa hospital lingine kwa hapo. Mm-hmm. And then you told me to go when I go there I lie. Henda undanganya ulianguka na motorbike. I told him I know myself. A man of God. And I know who I am and I will never lie. Mm. And I will never talk. Allow me to spare you. Endo waambie nilianguka na motorbike. Wanitibu mm. nirudi kwangu. Mm. But himu ndomo yangu mm. hospitali sitaongea. That is what we did. Mm. Nilienda nikiumwa na kila mahali like kuona njoo mtu wa CS vile anakuanga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yaani mwili yote inakuanga like mm. in pain. Yeah. Then huyo mtu tena akuwa na ninjali ata kujapa akuachanishe hapo lakini like, misa zingine nilikuwa na baki sitting nikilia mm-hmm. na hata nipembeleza na vile mimi napenda kupembelezwa <laughs> mimi nikapata mwanaume ananipembeleza ningekuwa mbali sana eti unapenda kupembeleza eh hey, ananiacha hapo mm-hmm. ana watu wanazamanga ninaambia vingi kama last pony na, na, na last chini yangu eh, eh chini yangu kuna wawili tuko 10 okay. so mimi ni wa so pia ulikuwa na miss ile kupembeleza na hii miss nilikuwa na miss like kwa nini usinipembeleza si mimi ni mke wako <laughs> <laughs> na ni wewe unanifanya machozi toki. Yeah. So kujitu at least unipanguze and then you tell me. Sorry. 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 Okay, mimi napona. Mimi napona mm. haraka. Oh. Yeah. Mm. So siku akukua na hiyo. Mm. I mean like one sometimes hata tukicheka sasa ni kuna good moments. Mm. I used to tell him this is what I like. Mm. So what I love. Mm. So what I don't like. Nibembeleza at least. Eh, at least sasa wewe sasa. Ni feel kama mwanamke. Eh, you want us again I could ask him what should I tell you? What should I do to you? Should I kwambia what I love you? Aku anatumia hiyo. Kwa anatumia gani? Alikuwa na saa zingine akijua amenikasirisha, mm. alikuwa na anaweza nunua kitu. Aleta. Eh. Kwa hiyo kwa hiyo alikuwa anakujali pia. Eh, hiyo ya kunipembeleza hiyo ya mm. kuleta ka gift. Hii ya kupanguza machozi hiyo aku ana hiyo hajui. Mhm. Lakini kuleta Lakini, gift hapo. Eh, eh, sasa hiyo alikuwa anajaribu. So hata kama unaongea ubaya wake kuna uzuri yake pia. Yeah, ubaya. kuna uzuri because he remains to be the father of my kids mm-hmm. and I loved him. Mm-hmm. I chose him among men. I chose this guy. So uzuri na ubaya gani gani nyingi? Okay, ubaya ni mingi kwa sababu mm-hmm. angeweka uzuri mingi mm-hmm. bado sasa leo hii ningekuwa kwake. Bado umemkasirikia? Nilimsamea. Ulimsamea. Nilimsamea. Na haikuwa rais. Mm-hmm. Haikuwa rais nilienda kwa mkutano ya ya Harris okay. Na Na nimtumishi wa Mungu mkubwa baya anaheshimika. Mm. Alikuwa na mkutano kubwa ya makazi ya mapastors na watu, watu wa Mungu. Mm. And then he was teaching about how the Holy Spirit works mm. and how tunaweza zuia baraka zingine zenye Mungu anataka kuachilia kwetu mm. tukikosa kusamea. And then I find myself crying. Mm. Hali nilikuwa nimeketi. Mm. And then the Holy Spirit of God was in me like ni kama kulikuwa satan operation of the holy spirit mm-hmm. because kuna kile Mungu anataka kunifanyia mm-hmm. na anaona bado nimeshikilia huyu mtu sijamsamea mm-hmm. i even cast that man let me tell you yeah. i cast that guy na hiyo kazi mm-hmm. ilifanya kazi na saa hii nataka kuongea kama ananiona na atakutana na hii video mm-hmm. nimekusamea mm-hmm. ume reverse ile kazi nililivas na hata niliomba mm-hmm. because wakati alikuja kukataa watoto wangu mm-hmm. 
Hata kotini niliongea because nilikuwa nimefile hiyo kesi ya oh, umefika hadi kotini. Ya, yeah, tulienda kotini na, na kesi ya watoto. Mm -hmm. Nilikuwa wakati niliona sasa anipendi mm. na nikaona sasa nangangana na watoto yeah. like I have two kids in school. Yes. I struggle so much wasome. Mm. They are very bright. Mm. Like sometimes nina nina ninaweza kosa ku, ku record wimbo. Mm. Naweza kosa ku, ku release a new song. Mm. Nipeleke watoto nipeleke pesa shule. Mm. So wakati niliona ninangangana mm. nilienda nikafile eh, case okay. kwa fida. Yes. Ya ofisi ya kutetea haki za watoto. Mm. Do you know that aliitwa kwa ofisi ya FIDA mara tatu na barua mm. akakataa because it's very rude. Mm. Akakataa. Wakati alikataa mm. niliulizwa nikasema hiyo hiyo kesi isukuma kotini. Mm. Sasa unajua wewe sikataa mambo na koti. Mm. Alisamoniwa kotini. Mm. So he had to come to the court. Mm. Tulisimama na yeye kwa koti. Mm. Akadimani DNA. Mm. Mtu ambaye uliyo akiwa baji. Yaani 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 wewe ni kuulize wewe mm. hata kama tumeokoka hiyo mm. uchungu yote ningekupatia wewe ungebebana naye ni uchungu huyo mtu kizile ndo mama amekuonyesha at least angeona mm. umefile case mm. ndio at least uleta watoto wa, wake na yeye pamoja yeah, yeah, yeah. asikuja tena kuja mm. kusema ati winnie amekimbia na watoto wangu mm. that is what i wanted and mm. i'm going to even the salvation that we have mm. pia mungu anatuangalia So nilikuwa nataka kuleta watoto karibu na yeye. Baba. But afadhali akuachilie wewe uende lakini yeah. achukue watoto. Ama hata mm. kama achukui because yeah. tuliongea kotini ya. Yeah. Mm. Nilitaka sana. Yeah. Awe akiwasalimia asikie sasa watoto hata wakiwa shule mm. wasikue na ile trauma mm. na waanze kufikiria because I remember one day my son told me mm. mom watoto wote shule wako na dadi. Mm. Kwani sisi tutakaa bila dadi? Yaani macho, ma, 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 machozi ilikuwa ina, inanitoka like mm -hmm. ungekuja kuni interview that time mm -hmm. yenye sikuwa nimepona mm -hmm. saa hizi ingekuwa naweza shikika na machozi eh uh, hebu nakuuliza katika hii ndoa shida yako wewe kwa hii ndoa ilikuwa wapi kwa sababu yeye ushasema ubaya wake what was your problem chenye ulikuwa unafanya maybe kina mkasirisha maybe una feel like before same i don't love you mimi nifanye mpaka akasema mimi mimi, mm. mimi mm. Mm. Unaona hizi mauchunguza hii kitu ya kwanza unaona hii kitu yenye alikuwa amenificha yeah. niliingia kwa ndoa na bitterness uh -huh. so kwa ile bitterness ile kitu alikuwa ana complain sana uh -huh. alikuwa anasema simpatie shima kwa sababu unajua unaweza kuwa hapa unaongea about a person ndio lakini wewe pia kwa hii ndoa kulikuwa na upungufu Nadaku. kulikuwa na upungufu uh -huh. upungufu yenye nilikuwa nayo uh -huh. niliona this man does not deserve respect And I decided to treat him the way he is treating me. Let me tell you. Mm. Whatever thing that you offer to a lady, mm. she will give you back. Cool. True. Treat a lady well. Mm. She will give you back. Mm -hmm. Give a lady a sperm. Wacha niongee vibaya. Mm. She will give you a child. So whatever you feed a lady, mm. anakupatianga. So wakati huo mwanaume alianza kunyonyesha madharau hmm. na kuambia niliaka yangu times 2. Pia kaanza kumuonyesha. Nilianza kumuonyesha. So ikakuwa sasa ni kama uwanja e, e, sasa ya vita. Uwanja ilikuwa ya vita mm -hmm. na ikakuwa yeye kwa sababu hata yeye akikosa mm -hmm. aski remorsefulness. Ana ni treat like a Wewe ukifanya hizo vitu ulikuwa unafanya kwa nini? Unajua nimekuuliza nime swali kwa nini? Mm -hmm. Viewers wana watch. Wanasema KG tunaongelea tu ubaya wa this guy. What about this lady? Uba yake ilikuwa nini ama nini? So, wewe wakati ulianza kufanya hivyo, wewe ulikuwa unataka nini happen? Nilikuwa nimeamua kutoka. Oh, so ulikuwa unafanya hivyo ndio utoke. I wanted to give this man pain. Ndio, aski vile nimesikia mm. na nitoke. Okay. Yeah. Me I don't know how to fake things. I don't know how to pretend and I cannot come here to tell people that I was so good. Mm. I was not good. Yeah. I started reacting mm. back. What he told me what uweze kuniambia i never loved you and then i i, I nikuje jioni nikuwa nimekupea gift kwa bia love you yeah. how you told me that you don't love me okay mm. so nilianza kurudisha uchungu mm. yeah na it was not my wish like even even sai wa, wakati ni, nilika nikapona na nika nikasikia nimetulia i i told god to forgive me okay yeah your brothers ambao walisema hii ndoa haitaenda mbali si ndio What the moment ulitoka na ukatoka kabisa ukaanza kufile case kwa court ndio mm -hmm. nini walisema 
wali wali kutafuta wakakwambia sister yenyewe sisi I, I do not I do want I do not want to to involve them in my case mm. because at the same time yeah. there are those those family members when you walikuwa so much interact with my ex mm. even when walikuwa wanajua anahoa so mm -hmm. kuna wale walimsaidia kuhoa pia mm -hmm. na hata kuna kitu alisema kotini like one of his brothers told me that i should get marry mm -hmm. Hiyo mwanamke akona na uchungu mwingi sana na sijui sioni kama mnaweza saidiana mm -hmm. unaona mm -hmm. so sikuwa involved kwa anything mm -hmm. na mimi niliamua kukaa Nairobi na uchungu yangu mm -hmm.